Catholic News Roundup is brought to you in part by PewSitter.com, your online Catholic newspaper for the third millennium. CatholicMediaCoalition.org, in line with the church, online with the world. And TheAmericanCatholic.com, politics and culture from a Catholic perspective. Hello and welcome to today's edition of Catholic News Roundup. I'm Michael Voris. Union forces liberal funding. A controversial Canadian Catholic teachers union is forcing teachers to finance an effort that many of them do not agree with. The powerful Ontario English Catholic Teachers Association, infamous for advancing anti-Catholic causes, is building a $3 million fund that will be used specifically against conservative election candidates this fall. That's what the fund is for. The president of the Canadian Center of Policy Studies says, quote, regardless of what political parties stands to gain, forcing workers to support partisan political activity of any kind is a fundamental violation of their individual rights and profoundly undemocratic, end quote. Catholic teachers are afraid to speak out against the union, fearing retaliation. USCCB protects rights of conscience. The United States Conference of Catholic Bishops, also known as the USCCB, is urging members of the U.S. Congress to support the rights of moral conscience in health insurance. Cardinal Daniel DiNardo, chairman of the Committee of Pro-Life Activities of the USCCB, has written representatives on Capitol Hill asking for support of the Respect for Rights of Conscience Act, which was introduced last month. The Cardinal points out that the controversial Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act proposed by Obama mandates inclusion of contraception, sterilization, and abortifacient drugs in the health plans of individuals, posing a, quote, obvious potential conflict with rights of conscience, end quote. He goes on to say that the Respect for Rights of Conscience Act will ensure that Obamacare legislations will not be misused to violate religious freedoms with its complete implementation in 2014. The right to not be offended. An Ohio college has prohibited a law student from exercising her constitutional rights of expression because someone complained that it offended them. FIRE, F-I-R-E, a student civil liberties group, reports that Ethel Burrell Donahue at Sinclair Community College Dis distributed brochures in her classroom during Breast Cancer Awareness Month that explain how oral contraceptives and abortions can lead to breast cancer. It took one woman who had aborted a child to complain. The chair of Sinclair's legal program summoned Burrell Donahue to his office where he quoted school handbook rules and forbade her to distribute literature in a classroom. Ohio's Assistant Attorney General and the state's Attorney General Counsel have replied to FIRE's complaints about this free speech violation, supporting the actions of the school. Stay with us back in just a few seconds. Catholic News Roundup is brought to you in part by NewOxfordReview.org, the voice of Catholic Orthodoxy in print and on the web, and RenewAmerica.com, expanding the influence of America's grassroots in the cause of freedom. CatholicUnderground.com, the podcast about our Catholic faith and new media. Macy's swipes at Catholics. The national department store chain Macy's has decided to advertise for an upcoming television show that attacks the Catholic Church. The Catholic League for Religious and Civil Rights informs us that a store location in New York is displaying mannequins dressed as the Pope and bishops in a large store window on which is written, The Borgias, the original crime family. The league's president, Bill Donahue, points out that Macy's knows that the Showtime series was written by an atheist who hates Catholics and wonders why Macy's would choose to put such an advertisement out during the heart of the Easter season. Donahue is appealing to Catholics everywhere, asking them to contact Macy's and tell them to take down the display. For information on contacting Macy's, you can click on the link right over here. And lastly, Carter decries abuse as religious. Former President Jimmy Carter has accused religion of being solely responsible for the abuse of women around the world. Carter announced his thoughts to a room full of religious and human rights leaders from 20 countries during an event at the Carter Center in Atlanta, saying that the abuses of women around the world are attributable to a belief that, quote, women are inferior in the eyes of God, end quote. He says that these teachings by leaders in Christianity, Islam, and other religions, his words, 
allow men to beat their wives and deny women their fundamental rights as human beings. Carter specifically blames men who selectively interpret the Bible and other scriptures. I'm Michael Voris. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure and tune in tomorrow for your daily dose of Catholic News Roundup right here on RealCatholicTV.com. And be sure and check out the Vortex today where we will discuss not the same church. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure and tell your friends about us. And as always, God bless you.